Let's knit a stitch pattern. This is the Beehive Waffle Stitch. It is a beautiful, soft texture design with a diagonal look to it. It is actually very beginner friendly. It looks like the pearl brioche stitch, but it's not using the brioche technique, so it's super easy. All you need to know is how to knit and knit one below, and that's pretty much it on this stitch. You can uh, see that it has a beautiful reversible back as well, and it's very uh, stretchy stitch. It actually needs less stitches per inch than uh, other stitches uh, with the same yarn and needles. All right, let's dive in to the Beehive Waffle Stitch. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get the written pattern as well as information on the yarn and the needles used, please click on the video description below to get our link to the blog. And we also have a pattern to make a full 12 by 12 and a seven by nine in this yarn and needle for Warm Up America blankets, should you choose to wanna make those. We also have right and left-handed video links down in the video description below, so grab that. And any instructions are based upon my right-handed video, but I will uh, be flipping the video or mirroring it for um, our left-handed uh, lovelies out there today. You can use anywhere from lace weight to bulky yarn on this one, and uh, just make sure your needle is appropriate. I'm working with a medium four or worsted weight yarn and a US seven or four and a half millimeter needle. You want to cast on loosely for this one, and I've cast on uh, 27 stitches for approximately seven and a quarter width, and uh, if you want a 12 in this one, a 12 inches, uh, you could cast on 45 stitches. Now, this is about 25% less stitches than I normally would for this size with this needle and yarn, and uh, that's because when you cast on, of course, you wanna do it loosely, and it will kind of grow on you. So it's kind of generous and stretchy stitch. So just keep that in mind. If you um, cast on a normal number and then it becomes like way too wide, uh, like wider than you thought it was going to be. All right, so it's a multiple of two plus three. Go ahead and make your multiple, cast that on and join me up for um, row one and it's a four row repeat. We'll start on the wrong side. This is our wrong side. It looks very beautiful. Um, this is after I've already got several inches done, of course. Um, you're just going to begin on the wrong side right after your cast on and knit across. So row one is simply knitting across. Pretty easy. So join me at the end of this row and we'll go on to row two. Pause your video, I'll see you there. Row two, begin with a knit one. And then now we're into our repeated section. We're gonna start, it's, it's an asterisk written on the directions and you're going to knit one below. So you're just going to put your needle into the stitch below. It looks like a purl stitch right here. Just insert through that, knit, pull up a stitch and then drop those off. That's that simple. And then knit the next stitch, so knit one. And then you repeat, knit one below and knit one and just repeat all the way across. It's really that simple. Go ahead and do that. Pause your video on the last two stitches and I will meet you there. See you soon. Last two stitches, knit one below and knit one. It's just that repeated pattern. As I'm going, I just sit and say to myself, knit below, knit below, knit below. So every time I do a knit one below, I just say below in my head, <laughs> below. All right, so turn that over and you're going to start your row three. Row three is simply knit across. So all wrong side rows, when it starts looking like this, they are knit across. Now, um, that's pretty much it. So every wrong side row, knit across. Pause your video and I'll see you soon in a moment. All right, row four, you're gonna start off by knitting two. One, two. And now repeat, same as before, knit one below, knit one. So here's the knit one below, and knit one. Knit one below, and knit one. Again in my head, I say below, one. Below, one. 
and continue. So you're going to do that all the way until the last stitch. Pause your video and I'll meet you there. And this is not the end of it. I do have a, a tip on how to make sure that you are starting back up correctly if you happen to put your knitting down. So you don't want to miss that clue. We'll see you soon. We're on the last three stitches here. Um, again, you've got that knit one below, knit one, going down to the last stitch, and then you're just going to knit one again. Uh, remember, we had two knits at the beginning of our row, and so we're gonna finish it off with these two knits at the end. And that is your four row repeat. You're just gonna continue to repeat those four rows. And then when you're ready to bind off, you want to bind off uh, purl wise on the wrong side. Uh, but my tip to you is when you're ready to begin again, look at the back of your work and you can see, I'm gonna try and kind of get close in here, but you can see where um, the double stacked stitches are for the knit one below. So, um, so here's like towards the, um, let's see, if I was gonna begin this round, we're gonna look over on this side. So you can see how, um, the, if I go down here, you can see how um, I went two stitches in here. Okay, so this is at the top. These are the two stitches that we just did together, the knit one below. And if you go over, you can see there's two stitches down here, one stitch over, because it's closer to the edge with a knit one before it. And then uh, we did the two here. So you know that the next time you do your rows, you want to row where the double stack stitches are right here. Does that make sense? So if you just pick this up at any time, you can just look at the back of your work and figure out, oh, okay, so I ended here. I need to start on row like this. So I'm gonna knit one and then get that knit one below. And that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this bee stitch waffle pattern. I think it's a beautiful stitch. It can go well on lots of projects. I'd love to know what you're going to make on yours or see your work on Instagram. Please tag me at Good Knit Kisses on Instagram and also let me know down below uh, what are you going to make with yours. All right, I hope you have a great day and happy knitting and crochet. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.